What's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in another one, man. So I, a lot of people ask me this question. Um, people always saying, you know, like, Mark, I'm alone. Uh, my family, you know, someone decided to pick up their cross, deny themselves, um, you know, live for Jesus and stuff like that. And, you know, now people are separating themselves from them, which is a good thing. I'm going to explain that later in this video. But, you know, things like that happen. Let's say, like, your family... Uh, no longer likes you, doesn't want to be around you, your friends, or maybe you lost your girlfriend or your boyfriend. When things like that happen, guys, you got to count it all joy. That's supposed to happen. All right. When God calls you to be to become chosen, okay, you're supposed to be losing these things of this world. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly why things like this happen. Before I start tell you guys what happens, I'm going to show you guys a little story on the reason why God wants you to be alone. And like I said, you're not always going to be alone because the Bible does say, there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Um, you know, I don't believe that you got to lock yourself in your room, be alone, have no friends. Nah, absolutely not. But there's some times where it's a season. Everything in life is a season. There's a season where God wants you to be alone. And sometimes God, this, like, let me go. I'm speaking too fast. Now. All right. So wait, here you go. Story time. Story time where I remember um, I, there's a few brothers who I met and it's, it's, it's guys, before I, before I go on, it's rare to find a God fearing person, you know, in this life we live, you know, on the internet, I guess it's easier, but like in real life, that's like finding gold. <laughs> that's like finding $20 in the street, finding someone who fears God, someone who's on the same vibe as you. That's really, really rare to find. So when you find these type of people and you know them in person, you got, that's a blessing. I personally never found those type of people in my life. But um, I, I connected with some great people on the internet, but um, I wanted to say this, like how I remember there was times where uh, I would rely on people like my brothers in Christ or my sisters in Christ more than I rely on God. Like I always had them to talk to, um, you know, they were on the narrow path as, you know, maybe they were street preaching with me. Some were just, you know, maybe we had Bible study, talk on the phone, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I noticed that sometimes I would like, I couldn't wait to talk to them or like I couldn't wait to go to them. And like I tell you guys, like the Bible says, you know, God is a jealous God. Sometimes God will remove those people from you so you could, so you could come to realization that you need God. You know, we don't want to be putting people above God. And I noticed that God put me to, alone because so he, I could trust in him more. I could rely on him more. I could seek him more. Uh, there was times where I would be seeking people more, seeking my brothers and sisters in Christ more than I'd be seeking God's kingdom more than I'd be seeking his righteousness. And that could, alone could be a distraction itself. So God isolated me. These people just went ghost, you know, and see when people go ghost, I always look at things spiritual. I always think, OK, like this is God removing them from my life uh, for the better good, you know. And one thing about me, I'm not petty or I'm not like emotional. Like if someone leaves and hey, life goes on, you know, some people, they're just so they have like a demonic attachment to you where like if you leave them, they just got to attack you or they got to slander. They got to falsely accuse. They got to tear you down. It's because some people are just demons. We got to start calling people guys what they are demons okay some people are just devils and i'm sweating right now um i just got done working out but um so let's, let's get on with what i was saying so pretty much when when god's putting you to be alone it's for him it's for it's for his glory now the, all you now you have more time to read your bible now you have more time to pray and i noticed that like it wasn't like i was idolizing these people but i would be really seeking like when i woke up like i would be seeking oh i could talk to him i could hang out with him I can hang out with her, you know, but I should be more of, you know, seeking God's kingdom. And sometimes God will remove these people out of your life. I'm telling you guys, you talk to them every single day for months, every single day. I'm telling you guys for months, seasons and seasons. And all of a sudden just ghost. Okay. That's God doesn't do that on purpose. And like I, I was saying earlier, when you're losing your friends and family, uh, because you're on the, you're on the right side of history, you have the light of Christ in you and the light in you, the light of Jesus Christ in you is bothering other people's spirits is bothering their demons. Okay. Everything is spiritual, guys. It's bothering their demons, so they no longer want you to keep company. Okay, even when, like, and see, sometimes, guys, some guys, some of you guys are so, are so anointed when people see you, it, they, they see that, you know, dang, I have to change because they remember when you were, you know, living a, living for your lust, okay? And they remember that, and they see you change, and it, it bothers them inside because they could be changing too. They could be, you know, putting the work in through their faith to change too, but they're not trying to change. They're not trying to give up this world. You know, they're not trying to give up the things of this world. And because of that, they never grow. They never become who God has created them to become. So always understand this for all you young, especially you Gen Z's out there. I think Gen Z is like under 25. I mean, any age, any age, but especially for you young, you know, the young generation. I remember this too, guys. 
when I decided to pick up my cross for the first time, I'll never forget this, 2018, I literally lost everybody, okay? No one wanted to be my friend no more. I went from having thousands of friends and everyone just going ghost. But see, that was, I didn't know this at the time because I didn't have wisdom. I didn't have understanding, but now I know better. Like, okay, God was just isolating me. I was just being isolated for a period. And through that isolation, I was becoming molded. I, you know, I was becoming more stronger. My 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 faith was becoming more firm. Uh, spiritually, you know, God was preparing me for being a warrior. So I understand why I couldn't be around certain people because God knew that I was weak. And I was vulnerable because I didn't know the war as much back then. So if I would be hanging around certain people, I would fall back into tem temptations. I would fall back into the snare. I wasn't as wise to have my full armor of God at the time. I wasn't as wise to understand that, you know, there's a, you know, a war for your souls. And, you know, the devil doesn't want you to elevate. So he was going to use people around you, certain, you know, certain friends, family, or like, let's say you're like your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend, right? He, he, he will use those certain people to, you know, to get you to where God doesn't want you to, to, to where God should take you. So like you, God will isolate you. Who will want you alone? And like I said earlier, when you're alone, it's not always forever. When you're alone, it's just for seasons. Now for me, looking back, I think it was about like a year where I was alone. So yes, guys, and I understand this too. The longer it is, I feel like the better. You gotta understand the prophets in the Bible, they were alone. Uh, John, the, the guy who wrote, um, he wrote many chapters in the Bible, New Testament. He was alone, he was locked in prison. Okay, so uh, Jesus went to the mountaintop and he was alone too. So you see how it's all for seasons. John wasn't in, uh, wasn't isolated forever. It was just for uh, you know a certain period. Jesus was, didn't go to the mountaintop by himself forever. It was just for a certain period, and you know everything has a reason behind it. Okay, everything has a reason behind it. And everything in life, guys, is a season. It's all like always understand that. Okay, this is just a season where God is putting me and placing me in. And you know, even though we don't understand what's happening, I must have trust in Him. I must have my faith in Him because understanding that His ways is better than my ways. His will is better than my will. So yes, you know, a lot of you brothers hit me up too. You know, Mark, I want a wife. You know, I'm struggling on seeing her attention. Always understand this, guys. Always keep this in mind. This is why it's important to meditate on the word. Okay, what does meditate mean? Not when people hear, when religious people hear meditate. And I understand because a new age is like corrupting minds. So when it's called, when the Bible says to meditate, it's to meditate on the word. And how can you meditate? You can literally be, I'm gonna hop in the shower after this. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna meditate on Romans chapter eight, verse 28. You can just meditate on the scripture. It doesn't have to be like the whole chapter. It can be if you want, but just literally meditating on the scripture, having that word dwell within your heart, within your spirit, and having it digest within you. Okay, whatever you're going through in life, it's not always bad. It could be good too. We want to be worshiping God, praising God in the in the in the winning season too. You know, a lot of people they start winning in life and they become more arrogant, you know, they become more prideful, but you know, what God gives, he could take away. So always be humble. And when you're in the isolation season and, we, and God's blessing you with knowledge, God's blessing you with wisdom, okay? Uh, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get, the Bible even says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse one to two, that a man who separates himself gains much wisdom. So when you're becoming more separated and you gain more, you know, more spiritual knowledge, more spiritual wisdom, you don't let it puff you up because even the Bible says that knowledge puffs you up. And that's a red, that's a red flag that I did on my end a huge mistake I made, I allowed the knowledge to puff me up. I felt like I was better than other people because I, God gave me, you know, blessed me with spiritual strength. But truth, we all fall short of the glory of God. So you don't want to be self-righteous. You don't want to put other people down. Understand that, you know, we all fall short and there's no point of trying to compete against other people. You should be competing against yourself. When you look in the mirror, compete against yourself. Don't let ego get in the way, your pride get in the way. I know us, man, we have that ego, but that all must be, you know, even the Bible says that he must increase and I must decrease, okay? So what does that mean? That means that this worldly stuff or worldly passions or lust, we must decrease that. And Jesus Christ must increase in us, our humility, our love. You know, that's what it's all about, you know? And that's what God's showing me. You know, that's what the law is all about, is love. You know, loving your brother, loving your neighbor, you know, loving your sister and loving God. Most importantly, loving the most high. So um, understand this, guys, when you're alone, embrace it. Okay, I understand when we're in that alone, especially if it's your first time, I get it. I've been there, guys. It's suffering. It's denying yourself. It's, you know, even the Bible says that the man who suffers in the flesh has keys from sin. So you're at, even though you're suffering, guys, you're not becoming spiritually stronger. So you won't have to watch porn no more. You won't have to masturbate no more. You won't have to feed your flesh no more because you're becoming stronger spiritually. Okay, you're becoming stronger. That's, that's, so that's why God put me on that path, you know, when I was alone for a year. You know, and, you know, like I said earlier, how... Sometimes, like, I'll be seeking people more than I'll be seeking God. That's a red flag. And see, we got to call our own BS. We got we Don't wait for someone else to call, call it out. You call it out. That's what the Bible says. A spiritual man judges all. Uh, a spiritual man judges all things, and he is judged of no man. Why does the Bible say the spiritual man is judged of no man? Because he already judges himself. He doesn't need someone else to judge him. 
you know of course we need god but like we don't need another human because we already correct ourselves we take accountability we don't blame people don't don't blame no one but yourself okay call out your own mistakes call out your own error and change allow the spirit of truth in you like i said it's all about being humble all about being you know having love in your heart love love it love in your heart guys that's important i understand this word love is being used to you know justify sin you know you have the lg community using love to justify the wrong ways but no just tru truly having love for god and having love for people that's what it's all about i know i'm sweating right now like i said i just got done working out so forgive me i love you guys so much if you have already smash the like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you're in the isolation season let me know i'm reading all comments so i'm just we got to communicate somehow i love you guys so much i'm out peace